I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First off, we'd like to welcome you back, Central. Let's make this a great year. We apologize for the technical issues from yesterday and look forward to bringing you the announcements this year. While we're on the topic of the new year, it's never too early to buy a yearbook. In fact, the sooner you buy a yearbook, the cheaper it is. Right now, you can buy a yearbook at JostinYearbooks.com for a low price of $60. Just a reminder, tomorrow we won't be holding regular classes, and instead students will rotate through various stations throughout the day. One of these stations is picture day, so make sure you look your best. Good morning, CCHS students. Would you like a say in our school activities? Would you like to run school events? Do you have ideas for fun activities within our school? If this sounds true, then Student Council is for you. Our first meeting is on Monday, September 12th in room C-131, Miss Fort's art room. First on our agenda is homecoming. Hope to see you there. In our first sports results of the year, the boys varsity Varsity volleyball team defeated the Iroquois Chiefs last night in three sets. The game scores were 25 to 19, 25 21, and 25 21. Brooke Terrell, Adam Tran, Nick Backwoods led the team offensively with six kills each. Eli Bannock led the team defensively with six digs. CJ KB ran the offense with 11 assists. The Warriors had a total of 16 aces and four blocks. On that note, any boy interested in playing JV volleyball this year, please see Coach Markison in room. C219. We'd love to encourage you to come out and support your Warriors at home. Tonight, the girls' volleyball team faces against East Aurora High School at 6.30. Tomorrow, boys' soccer takes the pitch at 5 against Lakeshore, while at the same time, the girls' swim team will attempt to swim laps around a few. Then on Saturday, the girls' soccer team faces Crosstown rival Maryville at 10 a.m., and the girls' volleyball tournament kicks off at 8 a.m. Uh, for enough. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. That's all for the announcements. Have a great second day, folks. Say by the bell. Nice job, we be. Hey, everybody, nice job. First day. I can't believe all the technical problems I'm having. This better, <laughs> better figure this out. But anyways, you did a wonderful job. Have a good one.